Hey, what's up guys? After seeing uh, this posted in the front page deal, I decided to venture out and try my luck like at the local Walmarts and I was able to find one and I picked it up. So I think a lot of people are in the same boat as me, like whether uh, they're wondering whether this is a good buy for even like the rollback price of 180 plus taxes. Um, and uh, some people might be concerned about the size of the phone. So this is the family mobile version which is powered by T-Mobile so it should work with T-Mobile or any of its MVNOs. This is uh, what comes in the box, pretty basic, uh, the phone and then you have the, the charger and the USB card and a user manual and warranty information. And let me uh, put the phone side by side with two other phones that I have. Uh, uh, one is the Opus. This is the OnePlus One, this is the Note 3, and this is the ZT Max. So this phone is huge. If you can see the size, it's about an in, uh, about a centimeter longer than the Note. And for the OnePlus One, probably half a centimeter. In terms of the width, uh, it's the same as the Note 3. And a little wider than the one plus one so I would warn like people with smaller hands this might not be the best phone in terms of the ergonomics uh, the note 3 itself is a huge phone sometimes it uh, seems like it's really big um, so if you think the note 3 is bigger then this phone is not for you. But if you want a phablet at an affordable price, I think this is one of the phones uh, you should look at. And this does come with the stock Android uh, 4.4.2. And immediately uh, when I hooked it up to the Wi-Fi, I found there was a software update. It's about 13 MB. Uh, I haven't installed it yet. Okay, so coming so there are a few reviews on YouTube which talks about the general performance and overall feel of the phone which is pretty nice, close, very close to stock Android um, and it's the KitKat. What I want to talk about specifically here is about the camera. Uh, the camera is really good, it's kind of mimics the Samsung camera interface with the different kinds of mode. Uh, I have tested the HDR and the smile shutter and it works really good. And the pictures, and I have taken indoor pictures, normal light, and they turned out to be really good. The front facing camera is good too for close up pictures, so I did a selfie and it turned out to be good. So, um, if you go to the settings, it's pretty standard. Okay, so, okay, in this video, it's kind of hard to read. Um, so, you have the picture size here, so that's like 8 megapixels is the highest and then you have a bunch of like effects you have like the flash on flash off and auto mode and then you have all sorts of uh, modes here so it's it's good like i'm happy about uh, the camera performance so most of the cheaper phones really have bad camera or so-so camera uh, but with this one, I think you're in good hands. So for 180 bucks, it's not like you're compromising on the quality of the image. The focus is fast. Uh, and see, it's it this captures the image fast. So the picture quality here is not so good because I'm not holding it correctly because I'm like seeing the phone through double like the other phone that I'm holding in my hand to take make a video of. By the way, the cam, the phone that I'm using to make the video is a Samsung Galaxy Note 2. Um, I wish I had used the OnePlus One to make the video. Uh, then it would have been much more clear. So pardon me for that, but I wanted to uh, put a comparison of the size uh, for Note 3 and the OnePlus One because uh, I thought those two are quite popular and people who are in this segment are looking at those phones. Overall, the phone feels pretty solid. It's not the back is not metal. Um, it's not removable, but the with the curved surface on the sides, 
and everything uh it feels it feels good i haven't tried texting but it's a big phone so if you already using a galaxy note or using one of the humongous uh, one plus one i think you would be pretty good but if you are used to if you have small hands and you are used to a small screen this might not be uh, the best phone in terms of ergonomics overall the phone is really good it has a snapdragon processor and it has got 2 gigs of ram and 16 gigs of memory i think uh, that's uh, pretty basic but overall it's very fluid fast the camera is good i haven't tested the call quality and the lt speed i have to set the apn and uh, check that so watch out for the next review but for the time being i think whoever is in the same boat as me uh, looking at the sleek deal page and cannot decide whether to get this or not i would say you should go for it it's a good phone at a bargain price like uh, if you're looking for a phablet uh, anything over 5.5 inch screen which is pretty decent i think this phone will have hold up good and um, i also checked with the lady who was at the checkout counter for walmart she said like uh, i should be able to return the phone without any problems within the 30 days uh, even if i take it out from the packaging so uh, if i was you i would just give it a shot and see uh, how the phone does for me and since it's t-mobile so any of uh, the t-mobile t-mobile or any of the t-mobile mvnos should work uh, just fine like simple mobile uh, go smart uh, all those should work fine if you're on AT&T or any of the AT&T MVNOs like Straight Talk, Red Pocket, you should be able to unlock this phone for about nine or ten dollars on eBay, um, and uh, then you can pop in the SIM and you're good to go.